Mention it all. Mention it all. Who gonna check me, boo? Geriatric granny, don't talk to me. Hello everybody, true. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills. Guys, I am giving you the first video uh, right here from Europe. Right now, I am in Copenhagen and in Denmark. And I'm going to be leaving to Germany in a couple hours. Um, so I'm going to, before I, you know, we start with the tea, I'm just going to look of Denmark. It's like super cold right now. I mean, I'm in my room, so I'm fine, but like outside is like super cold. It's not snowing, but it's like very cold. It's like, I will say like 20 degrees, something like that. So guys, I have some sweet tea for you, but before we get into it, like always, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, do it right now. It really helps me a lot. If you are new here and you want to join me, you know, bringing you around the world and giving you amazing tea subscribe 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 and hit the notification button all right so guys sad bad news for katherine dennis from southern charm because she has officially lost the custody of her kids um we know that they have been she and thomas have been on this huge fight for years now and we thought everything was going to be over when she finally got, you know, custody of the kids. Now, Thomas find this other random girl, knock her up, and now they're living together. And he decided to move to another town, like two hours away from Charleston. And he was like, well, bitch, I'm taking my kids with me. Well, <sighs> like, honestly. So now he filed for full custody again because he wants to take the kids. And then, you know, he goes full force against Catherine. And I have been reporting about this before because I mean, I'm not saying that Catherine is an angel uh, because I mean, we don't know exactly what is going on. There are a lot of reports, you know, a lot of like drug use and that she allegedly uh, does cocaine all the time and that she uh, left the thing like everywhere so the, so the kids can like reach it. So it's super dangerous. and. Uh, that she has left the kids alone, that the police has found one of the kids like wandering on the street once. You know, a lot of things have happening. Um, she has, of course, denied all of that. But it's just such a complicated and toxic uh, relationship that you don't know exactly what is happening because Thomas is also like such an asshole and he is, I mean, he can go down and dirty and we all know that, right? So... Anyways, um, he went to court, he presented more evidence, apparently he hired someone, he admitted to hire someone to um, follow Catherine and you know, he have all this evidence and then apparently a friend of him was on a trip with Catherine and her new boyfriend, um, Clef Revenel and the kids were there also and that the friend said that there was a lot of uh, use of uh, cocaine in there and um, you know a mess so the judge ruled that the uh, that Thomas will have full custody of both kids and Catherine will have um, visitations every other weekend um, so yeah it's a loss for Catherine I mean look at the end of the day if you have been a fan of Southern Charm you know that it's very hard to be, like, on either team, you know? Like, Thomas, we all know he is an asshole. He, we all know that he has a lot of power, a lot of money, so he will get away with everything. But Catherine, on the other hand, you know that sometimes she can be, like, cray-cray, yeah? And so the only ones that are actually losing here are the kids. I mean, that's my opinion, you know? I think that they have not really sit down and put, like, their difference aside and be like, why... What are we going to do? How are we going to give our kids a sane, safe childhood? Childhood, you know, like um, they, the, the only thing that this guy had that these poor kids have been seeing, it's like problems, problems, problems. And they are only like like I think like four and six or like five and seven, something like that. 
So imagine the repercussion of this when these guys hit uh, poverty and teenagers and all that, you know? Anyways, so I think that's what they should have been doing before. Just like talk to each other and, you know, do what is right for the kids. But I think their egos are so big, both of them, that they just cannot do that. Anyways, so those were the news that I have for you today. I will keep you updated and I will give you more info as soon as I know more. And that's it. So I'm going to give you a last look of Denmark. Look at that. So, guys, um, if you like this video, don't forget to, well, like it. <laughs> uh, share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And like always, I'll see you around. See ya.